Mikey, how are you? Hey, hey, Nathan, I'm good. <laughs> good morning, man. Uh, good morning. So, uh, so here's another one of these things. We're going to do some daily devos, and this is uh, kind of the first one. Yesterday was just an announcement, and um, so today is kind of the real thing. And uh, today we've got Kate Henson coming up, uh, and some something else really exciting. So uh, we'll we'll get to that in just a second. But Michael, you want to share about Thursday night? Yeah, so last week we did um, our first virtual evening meeting uh, um, just as a way to, to kind of engage, and uh, we, we really had a lot of fun with it. So uh, we're, we're setting up another one. Um, so this Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so if you're in Eastern, it'll be an hour later for you or... You know, you can you can do the the time zone math if you want. But 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, uh, we're gonna have worship with Elena Ansley. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Ansley. Yes. I think yeah. So, yeah. Uh, worship with Elena Ansley and Nathan Walters. You're gonna be singing some songs for us. I'm gonna, yes. That that is uh, the truth. <laughs> we'll see what okay. happens. <laughs> and then we'll do we'll do God sightings. Um, and then uh, we actually have a message from Jack Dunbar. Um, he's going to be, be bringing a, a devotional thought for us. So um, we hope that people are enjoying uh, the, these virtual evening meetings. And we hope that uh, you either join us live on Thursday or I'm sure it gets posted afterwards and you can watch it then. So yeah. uh, excited, excited to be just kind of engaging in this way. So yeah. Awesome, man. Well, I stumbled across, I didn't stumble across this, but uh, my friend Robbie, who was supposed to lead worship in, in uh, Jamaica like two weeks ago, of course that didn't happen, um, he has come up with this idea, him and his wife Molly and their friends, um, they realized that uh, basically uh, all the churches, because of the coronavirus, are going live and, and doing this virtual thing. They realized that probably a lot of the bigger churches have no issues with that. Um, however, some of the smaller churches might have a, uh, an issue with that, might, might have difficulty. So what they're doing is they are recording worship, pre-recording worship to just give away to churches that are looking for something to play on their live streams to keep their community engaged. So it's a real awesome uh, thing and, and, and uh, um, mission that they're doing. So uh, we're going to clip to that real quick. We're going to do one worship song and then Kate Henson has a message for us. So. Um, we're going to go over there right now.
here and touching every heart. And I worship you. I worship you. You are here.
think what happened was. Good morning, everybody. My name is Kate Henson. I live in Bernie, Texas, northwest of San Antonio, and um, I've been serving with Mission Discovery since 2015. Uh, most recently, um, I helped lead a project in Guatemala with the Aggie Men's Club. Whoop! And uh, anyway, I was most fortunate to be able to go on that trip uh, right before the quarantine was enacted. So um, we're blessed to be able to do that. But this morning I wanted to um, give you a little devotional, kind of like how we do our Kickstarters in the morning on mission trip. So this comes from the book of Genesis. I've been reading through Genesis this month and uh, chapter 21. And it talks about how Abraham sent Hagar away with Ishmael. Um, and in verse 15, um, it talks about uh, Abraham had sent her with um, bread and a skin of water and put it on her shoulder and sent her away. In verse 15 it says, when the water in the skin was gone, she put the child under one of the bushes. Then she, sent, she went and sat down opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot. For she said, let me not look on the death of this child. And as she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy. And the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Up, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. So this passage, as I was reading it, I was thinking about Hagar and her cry to God for help. There's a lot of you that are very worried right now, very distressed, and I'm hoping that you're crying out to God for help too. But what happens after that is after her cry to God, he responds. And he responds by saying, what troubles you? Fear not. And I keep thinking about the promises of God's faithfulness and how he always takes care of us. And I think we need to fear not more and let our troubles not consume us because when our worry starts to consume us, our attitude changes. And right now in quarantine, I don't know about you, but man, when attitudes get sour, the whole environment can get bad. And uh, everybody gets to be in a bad mood. I think you've heard of the phrase, when mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, right now, if nobody's happy in the household, ain't nobody happy. Um, so, I want you to think about the attitude, the posture that you have uh, toward your trouble right now, toward whatever it is that's causing worry. And I want you to take that worry and align it up with what scripture tells us about how faithful God is in caring for us. And if it's something that um, you shouldn't be worrying about because you know that God is gonna take care of you, then you need to let it go. He is faithful. He's gonna care for us. Um, and speaking of matters of faith, I was also planting some bulbs this morning, and as I was putting bulbs into the ground, I was thinking of a quote by Elizabeth Elliot, and she says, don't dig up in, in doubt what you planted in faith. And uh, so important to remember to keep faith during this time. This time is so important, and more now than ever, I think, um, to keep the faith, to keep going, keep praying, keep encouraging each other. Um, Keep the faith. God is up to something amazing right now um, in all this process um, of hardship. So uh, don't dig up and doubt what you planted in faith. Remember God's promises. Remember that He hears. God hears you when you cry out. So continue to pray and cry out to Him and encourage one another and keep the faith.
Thanks, Kate, so much for reminding us to keep the faith. And uh, so for those of you who have joined us, this is supposed to be like a kickstart, what we normally do every morning on a mission discovery trip. This is supposed to kickstart your day and to get you set for, for a good day. So um, I'm going to click over here, check out this image. So you'll find this in your social media, uh, on, on anything that's like uh, a mission discovery social media. So at mission discover, no, at miss this trips is our uh, social media tech at Miss Dis Trips, and uh, if you want to take this image to your kitchen table tonight, uh, to your small groups via via Google Chats or anything like that, um, this image right here is supposed supposed to help you work through uh, in a small group setting uh, what Kate has just shared with us. So let me click back over here, Michael. Can yeah. you hear me? Yep. You can hear me. I can. Awesome, man. Can you hear me? I can, I can. So uh, day one of, uh, of Kickstart is yeah. uh, we're, we're in. So um, just want to say thanks to everybody watching. Michael, you have anything else for us? Um, no, hopefully we'll see you on Thursday, if not before. Thursday night, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Seven. We're having a... a uh, God, oh, you're right, 7 o'clock p.m. Sorry, Central Standard Time. Uh, God Sightings Worship. And then uh, every morning at 11 a.m. Central, uh, we're going to be doing this kickstart. So uh, keep on commenting. We love to pray for you and, and talk to you soon. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. God bless.